Paul Cantabene. Let's bring them both in. How about we do it that way? Let's bring both Connor and Garrett in. Uh, guys, one, one of you on this side of me, one of you on the other. Uh, uh, oh, you're going to give it to Ga- – all right. Sorry. Connor, walk me through. Tell me, the, tell me the story of the hack. As we saw Justin bring it up a few weeks back, what is the story on the hack? Yeah, so it's just, you know, player of the game uh, type of hat. You know, um, whoever shows out uh, has a good game and gets a hat. Hey, man, you guys put in a heck of an effort. Uh, Garrett, the, the, the way things turn, Coach just mentioned it's a stable, right? Yeah. Take me through the way that you guys push each other every day. If I can have you slide in just a little bit, Garrett, that's all right. We want to make sure we get you on the camera, that beautiful mug. Um, the, the way that you guys push each other to make sure that you're all ready to go when your number is called upon. Uh, every, like, we come in early for practice every day, the face-off guys, and it's normally, like, just a scrap. We just – we. We fight, we fight with each other, like it's all just, we're just trying to grind, like trying to make each other better. Nobody's trying to just be there just to be there. They're all trying to make themselves better. Yeah, it was much needed tonight, obviously. Connor, you guys were in trouble tonight, and you guys were pushed. Mm-hmm. What was the conversation like at the half, and, and how did it happen that you guys were able to turn things around? I mean, yeah, going in the locker room, you know, everyone knew what was on the table. You know, we had to win that game. Uh, we've been there before. And we had those senior leaderships, you know, kind of guide us, uh, say the right things in the locker room, get us pumped up, and uh, definitely showed out on the field. So uh, happy to get the dub and um, happy to move on. Well, let's talk about that, Garrett. What's it going to take? You guys, I, there is a tradition of winning championships here at Stevenson. It's been a couple of years. What's it going to take for you guys to go on the road on Saturday night and get the job done up at York? We just got to work hard this week and practice. We all got to just put our noses down to the dirt and just grind. That's it. There you go, right? And then you can be conference champions. All right, we've been trying to get to know everybody uh, all year. So this is I, – yeah, I'm going to give you – if you had a horse, since you're the stable, to you, the, Saturday is the Kentucky Derby. If you owned a horse running in the Kentucky Derby, what would you name your horse? Connor Halp, and I'm going to start oh, with you. Oh, easy. Beast. 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 That's not bad. Yeah. Not bad. yeah. I don't think Beast. there's ever been a Kentucky yeah. Derby winner named Beast. What about you, Garrett? Uh, probably like Lucky. Lucky, <laughs> come on, man! You got beast, and you're going to lucky. I don't know about that. All right, <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, who do we need to shout out? Who has uh, helped you get to this point? Who you want to say thank you to? Shout out Aaron Wood. I'll shout out my little brother too. He's uh, back at home. Go Kyle. What's up, Kyle? Hi, awesome, man. Awesome. Connor. What about you? Yeah, shout out all the boys at home, the fam, and uh, special shout out to my physical therapist too you know i came off uh two acl surgeries been a grind to get back here playing again so thankful for that thankful for them and uh yeah ready to keep it going all right boys great job tonight well done best of luck on saturday thanks for hanging out with us connor halvin garrett goudreau the stable here at stevenson appreciate that for them i'm glenn this has been go mustang sports.tv